A lawmaker in the Philippines has filed a bill seeking to declare the act of ghosting or ending communication with someone with, without explanation a form of emotional abuse. I you think it was there, uh, there should be some kind uh, yeah. of uh, repercussion for people that break my heart. <laughs> I believe that uh, you should get up scot free. <laughs> scot free? Should pay the price. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I break the ice, you pay the price. <laughs> A, rec a representative, this guy's a wild boy. A representative <laughs> believes that ghosting causes trauma as it develops feelings of rejection and and uh, and neglect. Uh, studies have shown that social rejection of any kind activates the same pain pathways in the brain as physical pain, meaning there's a biological link between rejection. I, J John Ryan, <laughs> believe that uh, it is. <laughs> John Ryan. <laughs> Jr. <laughs> I because the things they say about sticks and stones, it's true. <laughs> that is honestly how you feel after. <laughs> sticks and stones. And they need to mouth. make. I, I have been saying for. Hundreds of years to make that legislation. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, he, he's, he says it can be likened to a form of emotional cruelty and should be punished as an emotional offense. What is considered ghosting? Like if you don't respond in 24 hours or two days? Or when I was sitting at Jollibee, <laughs> I was sitting at the Jollibee and uh, I was waiting for my girlfriend and she's never showed up. <laughs> Never. But, but her clothes showed up, but this was like there's no person. But there was a ghost. It's just floating a just barrel. <laughs> her spirit. Because even you could ghost on text, right? Yeah, that's probably what, what he means. So if yeah. you so what is ghosting? Let's say someone was just taking a shit, they couldn't get back to you in you an just hour. Don't answer back. <laughs> like is that ghosting? So, no, they completely disappear. So at the very beginning of this video, I defined it. <laughs> You did? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll do it again. What is it? Tell me. <laughs> uh, Nick, Nick, Nick wasn't paying attention. Ending, <laughs> ending communication with someone without explanation. Yeah, but yeah. for how long though? Forever, Forever. dude. Forever. Indefinitely. When they just ending, don't respond ending, to when you. When you die and turn ending. into a ghost, you don't come back to life. Hey, Bart, how do you define ending? Fuckhead. <laughs> <laughs> that means they have to Fuck have head. a period of time before they can press charges, right? Like it's gotta be like a year or two. Oh, okay, I see what you're okay, saying. Okay. Yeah, because it's like they, if they panic after three hours, yeah. that's not really ghosting. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Let's, let's they were taking a shit. Hey, there are people like that 48 too. 48 hours, let's say that. <laughs> 48 hours? The first 48. Dude, I, was wow. seeing, I was seeing this chick and I left my phone at home for once and I went in to like the office or whatever. And then by the time I got home, it was like fucking like 60 missed texts and shit. And Holy like, yeah. shit. Yeah. I was so worried about you, and I was like, yeah. Well, there should be charges work. for stuff like that, too. Stalking for oh, like yeah, too yeah. much. Oh, the harassment. The opposite of ghosting. Oh, that yeah. in the legislation, JR. Yeah. 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 That's clause two. I'm like, I know this dick is fucking magic, <laughs> but let's calm down, please. <laughs> there should be a text limit, right? You can't just keep going like, hey, are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Dude, are you there? If T-Mobile had a feature like that, mm. where they said only with T-Mobile, when we feel like you're getting an excessive amount of text, we're just gonna cut that person off. It should be like when you try to sign in and you forgot your password, and then after a while they're like, you try to attempt yeah. too many times. Yep. You gotta chill the fuck out. Sometimes I don't day. like that though. You're bugging working. Steve Green a little too much. <laughs> I'm the you obsessive know? guy that texts, so I don't like this idea. Yeah. There's. I, I would like. I would prefer many texts over being ghosted. I'll hey, tell you no, that. Come here, <laughs> hey, come here. Come here and read this like that. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay. They should call it like. So in an interview with CNN Philippines. Tevos, the, the, the lawmaker, also <laughs> explained the emotional abuse caused by ghosting is also detrimental to the nation's productivity. Read I, that. Okay, okay. If you're a worker that is not in good state of mind, yang trabaho mo ay hindi ganun kaganda dahil na ghost ka. Your work will be affected because you have been ghosted. I love the way your face. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, he also added that he did, he did not indicate any any proposed penalty as he needs to consult his colleagues in further refining the measure. His colleagues ghost him. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! <laughs> see? See? <laughs> They're like, JR's fucking annoying, dude. <laughs> like, bro, it's you. You're the problem, man. Just so annoying. <laughs> I like how he took it all the way up to government, though. <laughs> yeah, dude. He Somebody says, has to do something. He says, for me, the offense should not be heavy. We can impose a penalty of community service for offense to realize that ghosting is not right. That is not right. So so he's really looking for, at the yeah. very least, to be like, Punitive I'm formally you. ending conversations with you because I don't want to continue. I think people yeah. who ghost are mm -mm. Uh, just childish. They don't know how to communicate. But then, like, no one's really obligated to communicate with yeah. you either. It's, exactly. it's the freedom of no speech at all. <laughs> See, there it is. It's the freedom of 
bailing. Dude, I ghost people yeah. all the time, dude. Oh yeah, we know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you ghost us. When you when you get ghosted though, when somebody ghosts you, it's a pretty clear indicator though, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, attention. Yeah. Yeah. Done. Dude. No, but sometimes they run out of batteries, so I go to their house to double check. <laughs> That's like a little GSP, little Filipino GSP. Not bad, I don't know what that I feel was. like people will get to you when they'll get to you. Yeah. Like, if, if it's like, they're not idiots, they saw your task, text, and then if they forgot because they're busy, then they're probably dealing with other shit and you're not important. What if you're like dating them though and like, you know, you, you think you have like a... Nice they might dicks in another mouth house. already. You go to the parent house. Yep. No, it is. It probably is. So nah, and, then, and then she comes check. back like, dude, like, I was just snorkeling. It was only one hour. What the fuck? And I'm yeah. like, sorry. That's when the time thing comes to what Bart was saying. Dude, I, got, I got, true story, I got dumped one time. It was awful. And then, um, you know, pretty quickly, I was like, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going through this breakup. And then this chick just fucking pounced on me out of nowhere, right? She's super cool. She was like a fucking model and shit. It was kind of, it was kind of sick. And then my ex was like, not a model at all. I uh, had no right to even ever fucking even be near a modeling agency. Should have been probably forcibly removed from anywhere near a modeling agency. Shouldn't even be allowed to park near there, okay? So she finds out that I'm with this new chick. Dude, and, Steve Green, baby. And then she gets fucking, starts going crazy, starts fucking texting me, calling me, calling me, calling me. Call me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then me and this new chick are out, and like she goes back to my place, we fuck. Hard, I take her asshole like for the first time ever. She's quivering. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, I, and that was our first ATM Jesus. experience too. Whoa! Tight. <laughs> no, Good so, for you, Steve. Thank you. No, so we're we are like asleep, right? Like this is like hours later, we're asleep. And then all of a sudden, this chick, she's like, Steve, Steve, somebody's here. Somebody's fucking. Oh here. my god. This is like 3 45 in the morning. Oh my. There's a ghost? And she's ex, knocking on the door? It's a ghost. Oh, it was a Haitian ghost. <laughs> my ex has used an old key to get in through the sliding door. No oh way. She's in my apartment, and I'm like, yo, get the, get the fuck out of here. I take her outside, I walk her to her car, and Smash I'm like. Smash her again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Send her off. Yeah, yeah. You, like, so you throw the model away? I chucked the model like she was You're nothing. Like, no. You gotta fucking escape! She's crazy! No, 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 no. no, no, no. So, so I just I just harangued her. I was like, yo, what the fuck? And she's like crying, despondent. I'm like, you dumped me. What the fuck? You dumped me hard. Like, you know, like... Dude, so you're what? the man, bro. So what the and fuck is that? Yeah. She dumps you. I wasn't even wearing and the money suit back then. <laughs> she wouldn't stand a chance now. And it's a, is it a possession thing? I think it was like a... It was like an insecurity thing because this new girl is better, like much prettier yeah. than her, whatever in her mind. You know what I mean? Like some clearly upgrade, yeah. Right, and so that she couldn't handle because yeah. I was supposed to like go fucking crawl into a gutter and just like. Lay yeah, down. you didn't follow the narrative. <laughs> yeah, I, I like how you said it's prettier, like in her mind, even though she had no right being in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the that's the fun. That's the security fun removed her. <laughs> right. My friend's going through something similar. When I'm like, in, I'm in. His his uh, ex-wife <laughs> fucking cheated on him. All this stuff. And then she's like, oh yeah, we're so much happier without being together or whatever. She leaves, right? And then she's like in this like, she's with the love of her life, whatever. And then so, he gets with a mutual friend, right? And then she's like, blasting everybody saying like can you believe he's with her he's been grooming her can you believe he's like the age difference is disgusting and i'm like she's in her early 30s <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck do you mean by grooming like they met how could you groom a 30 year old <laughs> yeah yeah it's pretty easy it's like are you fucking out of your mind and then like I'm like, I thought you were with the love of your life now and you're both happy why do you have to go back and like fucking try to ruin what he's got. Yeah, and I'm like, that's why. Mm -hmm. What kind of person does that? That's so weird. You can't just be happy, they have to be miserable. That's yeah. yeah. And then they, they can laugh at their ex and be like, ha ha ha, and then they're like, I'm having the well, greatest like, time of my life. It's like Steve's misery was supposed to be a part of his ex's coping mechanism, and without that, she can't fucking move on. But what's oh, fucked up is she's the one that broke up with him in the same yeah. situation with my friend. But then she had the confidence to break up with him because she put him at a specific point. Yeah, that was her yeah. expectation. And then now that he's fucking here she's like, oh, yeah, she once he rebranded, oh. bro, she didn't think I'd butterfly out of that shit. That's what I do every fucking time. Yeah, you just get better. I'm gonna cross crypto again. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm wooing it out again. Yeah, dude, Woo. money suit and all, baby. I'm setting it all up. The deck is set. It's just like the market has to come to me and watch it. Will it's gonna be every time I'm reminded better. that you're wearing this, it's like, how did I stop seeing it? 
It is. It just my eyes are getting used to it, and then I just go, oh, Because it's one of those things where if you look close enough, you're going to see an optical illusion. What's the optical illusion? Your big dick. Well, it is big. It is a dick. <laughs> it's worthy for a month. It's fucking late in the day, y'all. <laughs>